Everyone welcome Samantha to the Mari Show. Now, backstage, backstage is the love of Samantha's life, Marvin. Nothing means more to Samantha than the family she has created with Marvin and their six-month-old son, Mason. How cute is he? So you can imagine Samantha's shock and disgust when she received this sonogram image from an unidentified woman last week because the woman claimed that Marvin is the father of her unborn child. What about this? This girl sent this sonogram to his, face, in his Facebook inbox. Right. You see what it says, baby Marv, please be a girl. Right. He claims that he doesn't even know First, so, he claimed that he you, didn't even why, know the girl. You went on Facebook and saw this, right? Yes, it popped right up because his Facebook his messenger is logged into my phone. Right. It popped up on there. He claims that he doesn't know. He didn't know the girl. Doesn't know the girl. She's a crazy stalker. Then he admits that he, dis he does know the girl, but it can't possibly be his baby because he never had sex with her. Never had sex with her. Then, yep. the night before the show, he admits that he had sex with her one time. Oh. If you admit it to one, you did it. Time. Really? Now, you all were out to breakfast, right? All of, uh, all of a sudden, his phone vibrated. His, he had his phone. I had his phone in my pocket. And all of a sudden, it, uh, the text message um, sound goes off. So I was just going to hand him his phone. I wasn't even going to look at it. Right. He said, see who it is. I looked, and it said, word for word, Marvin, did you wash my <laughs> off of your <laughs> Wait for his response when you showed that to him. What did he say? He doesn't know who this is. Oh, I know. She's texting. She was texting for his friend. His friend has his own cell phone. Why does she need to text yours oh, for I him? See. It's always something with him, and you, he always he has so many You think he's spending excuses. money on women? I know he's spending money on women. Why? Because first of all, he left me in the hospital the night that I was having his son. He left me there. I had his son by himself. The anesthesiologist had to cut his umbilical cord. Man, that's a lie. 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 Then he, I found, I have this thing on his phone called that SMS is a lie. Tracker. All lies. That's how all I get lies. all of his text oh, messages, all of his stuff. I see everything. He was calling me in the hospital asking me for thirty dollars. Man, the I same, need a gas at the money. Same exact time that a girl on, is man. asking him for thirty dollars to have sex with her. Oh my. God. He denies all this. He denies everything. He calls me crazy. I don't know what I'm talking about. By My... the way, he kind of disappears a lot, right? He disappears Makes all like the a time. Ghost. All the time. He's always gone. Sometimes he'll disappear for days at a time. He won't even answer the cell phone that I got him. <laughs> everything is he fell asleep at his family's house and all, all this stuff. You have your own house what, to come you, to. Why what... do you need to sleep somewhere else? What... What'd you find in his car? I found condom wrappers, perfume that I know is in my... It's in always his car, cheap in his stuff. Car? It's always something cheap. Condom wrappers. That yes. is a lie! A Come lie. on, man! How about the glitter? He came in the house one night. He had glitter all over the side of his face and all over his shirt. He said it came from me! Stuff. If you have all this, this preponderance of evidence and suspicion against him, why do you even come here? He called the show! Oh! <laughs> I see. By, by the way, here's something else. It's not just you and him in the house. Your Uncle William lives yes, in the house. Yes, my uncle. Let's go back here, William. You saw Sit down, him. old man. <laughs> That's an old man. You saw him. You saw him bring women in the house. I heard a voice coming up the steps. Right. So I opened my apartment to say hi to them. Right. And when I looked, I said, well, who's that? Oh, that's, that's my, uh, my, my, uh, no, no. I said, what are you stuttering about? You're, you're who? You're who? What did he say? It was his cousin. It's, yeah, his cousin. But it took him three stutters and a mumble to get that <laughs> word out. Now, what do you think? 
You, th you think he's cheating on your niece? You think he's cheating on your niece, William? I think he's cheating on my niece. Yes, he's cheating on my niece. And would you cheat on her? She's beautiful. Oh, right. way too would pretty to have to go through ugly girl drama. Do you like him at all? Yeah. He's a nice guy. But he messes is, up. Is he good with his uh, son? Yeah, he's good with his son. Very good with his son. But he won't act like that with the rest of the life. Well, guess what? What? We're going to see him right now. Here he is, Marvin. Marvin, come on in. Marvin, you love this woman. Yes, I do, Mark. You have a you have a brand new little boy. Come yes, on. Yes, I do. Six months. I know. And you're a good dad. Yes, I am. So you wouldn't cheat on her. No, why would I? Well, I what the you. heck on, is going you're on? You're such a Let's liar. All you do is lie. You lie about I everything. I made mistakes. I made mistakes when I'm trying to make them right. Like, come on, how don't you believe me? Because you keep lying. Why would I keep believing a liar? You called the show to just to prove to me that you're a bigger liar than I already think you are. <laughs> Marvin. Marvin. Okay, the sonogram. First you said it wasn't you. Then you said, okay, I slept with a girl, but that's not my baby, right? It's not my baby, Marvin. Come on, now she know that girl a stalker. She, she knows she's a stalker. stalker. She's stalking you because you're dealing with her. Why wouldn't she? I would be chasing you down too if I was pregnant with your kid. It's not my kid. It's not. That's a lie. I don't believe you. I believe her. You know why? Because she never lied to me. You did. Then you believe what you want to believe, then. I will. And I do. How about when you all were out for breakfast and the phone uh, goes on vibrate and comes up did with this text? Did you wash my off your <laughs> That was a fake text. It was for my friend. It wasn't even for me. Oh, that's a lie because I called the girl back. It was her. The same girl that sent the ultrasound picture. You just keep lying. When are you going to tell the truth? When Samantha was in the hospital giving birth, did you ask her for $30 so you could go hook up? Yes, I did, Mario. I asked her for $30 so I could go see a friend. Not a girl, not a girl. So I was talking about just, with my it friend. It just so happens that at the very same time that you asking me for $30, that this girl's asking you for $30 to sleep with her. That's just a coincidence. It's just random. Just 30 is the number of the day, right? I guess so. By the way, I haven't even brought this up. You also think he might have done something with your sister. Yes! Talking to her. What happened, Marvin? Listen, I never told her I slept with her That's sister a lie. at all. All you do is lie. I never so slept with none of your relatives. Right. I, I never slept with none of your okay, relatives. Well, we gonna see today. We is. How about the glitter on your face? That came from her, Marvin. Okay. Everything I never always washed up. It came from her. Always me. How about the makeup and the condoms in the car? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you don't have nothing to say to that, huh? It wasn't my. I let my brother see my car. Everything you are. Your brother has his own. Marvin, oh, listen, Marvin, I'm not a stingy person with my car. As long as the person got gas money oh, and a driver license, they can drive my car. Why did I need to borrow yours if they had their own car? Where do you, where do you go at night when you kind of disappear? I go out to my friend's house. You know, I don't... I don't it's nothing, Marvin. I go to my friend's house, I go to my family's house, family. and she always accuses me of being with another female. Why can't you go to my house? Why can't you go to my house? Why can't you go to my house? Why You get along with Uncle William? No. You don't get along with no. him? You know what he said? He said he said. Yeah, he's he trying to break up my relationship. Everyone's always trying to break up your Shut relationship. Down, you man. know who's breaking up your relationship? You. You and all your little holes. Who was that you brought into the house? Was it a cousin or was it, it a was girlfriend? It was my cousin. Everything is always your cousin. How cousin? many cousins do you have? During your relationship with Samantha, did you get another woman pregnant? You said no. The lie detector determined you are telling the truth. That's one question. That's one question. One question. One question. When you disappear at times, is it because you're sleeping with other women? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> Yeah. 
Did you sleep with another woman while Samantha was pregnant? You admitted to our lie detector administrator. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's right. Did you leave Samantha at the hospital to go sleep with another woman? You admitted to our lie detector administrator. That's it. That's it. That's it. And, that was so trifling. And, was and finally. Nasty. And finally, Marvin, are you using Samantha's money on other women? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> You have a family together. What's going to happen here? Come on. I don't know, Mari. I, it's too much. I made mistakes. You want to keep did, doing the that same wrong. thing. Like, how many times can you make the same mistake? There's no more mistakes. Doesn't make that. no sense. Why you There's keep no doing this to me? Well, I'm willing to start over. That's why I came here. I want to start over. I want to be a family again. You said you called the show to prove that you wasn't lying, but you lied about you know, everything. You know what he really, you know why he really called the show? He knew what was going to happen, and he wanted a chance at a new beginning. Is that right? Yes. I actually want you to sit, you sit down and talk to me for a second. I know I messed up. I made a lot of mistakes in my life, you know? And I just want to turn over a new leaf. You say and that Sam, all the time. I love you. I love you so much. Will you marry me, Sam? And let me start over, please. Will you marry me? You're not going to stop, please. are you? I'll tell you what we'll do, OK? Because there's a child involved here and everything else. We'll check up six months from now. We'll see how true blue he's been, all right? The American machine. Yes. You are not the father. <laughs>